Well, good morning. Hello, hello, hello. I know I'm always looking down, right? You know I'm always looking down because I've always had my camera uh, with my babies. Uh, you know, I got to make sure I can see them too. And so I'm, I'm always doing a couple of things at the same time. But I'm here. I'm here. It's raining in Atlanta. Hello, hello, hello. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. And um, I will say this, as I always say, if you woke, woke up on the wrong side of the bed, lay back down. And as you're laying down, ask God to talk to your heart. Uh, as you're laying back down, ask God to speak to you. Ask God to uh, give you the wisdom to be able to defeat the thing that's caused your day to become bad. That's caused uh, you to wake up bad. Something that was that happened in your mind. Something that you're battling with. Something that you're dealing with. Something that you're fighting through. Something that you're talking through. Whatever it is that, that caused it. Ask God to identify it and fix it. Ask God to give you the wisdom in it. Ask God to give you the, the, the teaching. The lesson behind it. Because you know. If, if I can be honest. Uh, oftentimes the things that we go through. The things, the challenges. The hurts. Uh, the, the surprises, things that happen to us uh, that causes a crisis in our life, things where we feel rejected or actually we are, or things we, we, we've lost our job or whatever it is, get to a place where you just say, God, I still trust you. You got to get to a place where you say, God, I trust you regardless. God, I trust you. I trust you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I'm going through. It doesn't matter what I'm feeling. God, I know I'm coming out. Because I know the scripture says that we've been made and do it for a night. And I know joy is coming in the morning. And so my nighttime, my nighttime might be right now, but I can see light. I can see joy coming. But I can see it. I can see it. Uh, oh, what was it? Behind every dark cloud? Every, behind every dark cloud. There's something behind a dark cloud. And that's light. There's a silver lining. There's a breaking. And so you just got to go through it. You got to go through the tough time to get through the good time. You got to go through the bad. To get to the good, you got to go through it. And so no cross, no crown. Anything worth having, you're going to go through some pain. You're going to go through some suffering. You're going to go through some sacrifices. That's what makes it worth it. When you sacrifice for it, when you go through something, you go through all kinds of changes, through this thing, then all of a sudden you get the reward of it. That makes you appreciate what you've been through even more. It does. It makes you appreciate it. And see, the thing about God has always been there. God has always been there. And see, think about it. See, God's glory is revealed in the believer's life when you come through the test. His glory is revealed. He, you're approved of God when you come through it. When you come through it, your promotion. When you come through, God's glory is waiting on you. Waiting on you to reward you. Great recompense is your reward. But you got to be faithful. And that is faith being consistent. You got to be consistent. You got to stay focused. You got to be stubborn. You got to be stubborn for God. You got to be stubborn for righteousness. You got to be stubborn for fighting. You, you got to be stubborn for not quitting. Oh yeah, you got to be like that. You got to be like a you got to be like a, 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 a bulldog. You got to be like a junkyard dog. When that dog is in a fight, when that dog latches his teeth, that dog will not let go until whatever whatever is holding, give up. Give up. And so that's how you got to be concerned in what you're fighting. That's how you got to be concerned in your bills. That's how you got to be concerned in your marriage. That's how you got to be concerned in life and, and, and what you believe that God is going to do. You got to hold on and have that faith and hold on and hold on and hold on until change come. You got to hold on until change comes. Just like, who was it? Jacob. Jacob. Jacob, when he was going to see his brother because he was sad and he was afraid because he was afraid his brother was going to kill him because... He him and his mama tricked him out of his birthright. He sent him some gifts, his brother some gifts to, to take his temperature. And so, you know, he was preparing mentally. He was going through all kinds of stuff because it was like the moment of truth. Because he had to meet his brother, his oldest brother. And so he had to meet his brother, but he's afraid. But God already told him he had to protect him, go protect him. But he wouldn't hear all that. He wouldn't hear all that. Some of you. See, you're in a situation where you, you're afraid. You're afraid of some people. You're afraid of some things, but God already told you to protect you. You're afraid of you're afraid of sickness. You're afraid of, of a condition, but God already told you He's going to protect you. Trust Him, trust Him. And so I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Though. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Just like with Jacob. So what God had to do with Jacob, God had to put Jacob in a dream, put him to sleep, put him to sleep. And and and, and what happened? And what happened also with Jacob? What he woke up and he was wrestling with an angel. 
He was wrestling with an angel. He wrestled with an angel, and it was interesting because he wrestled with an angel all night. All night he held on. And he knew something about he, he knew something about this angel. He knew something different was about this, this angel. And so he, he, he wouldn't let him go. He was going to hold on to dead life even if you could break everything that I have. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on. And that's what he did. And, and the angel looked at me. saw that about daybreak was about, uh, it was about to uh, take place. And so the angel told him, the angel told him to, 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 to let him go. And, and, and Jacob said, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. I'm not going to let you go. I'm going to hold on. I'm not going to let go God to your move. I'm, I'm going to hold on. And so that's how you got to be with God. That's how you got to be with what you, in your heart that you believe in God for. You got to get to a place where I'm going to hold on. I'm going to believe. I'm going to trust God for my marriage coming back together. I'm going to trust God for that job. I'm going to trust God for that promotion. I'm going to trust God for that breakthrough. So you got to get to a place where you say, I'm going to trust God. You got to trust him. You got to trust him beyond your feelings. You got to trust him beyond, beyond your intuitions. See, because the thing you need to understand, your intuitions is not 100%. You can miss it. The only sure one is God's word. The only sure one, because the scripture says that heaven and earth will pass away, but God's word is going to stand. Props are going to fail. Tongues is going to cease, but God's word. And so you must hang your hopes in God's word. Not in not a prophecy, not in a feeling, not when someone say it. But you need to go and find that word out for yourself. And that is trusting in him. In that situation, in what you're facing, trust him. Trust him, trust him. And I will tell you, when you trust him, you're going to realize and understand that you ain't got to do nothing no more. The pressure going to leave. See, some of you, the reason why you're dealing with so much pressure is because you're holding on to yourself. You're, you're afflicting yourself. You're, you're punishing yourself. You're beating yourself. You're beating yourself because you're holding, you're holding on to stuff that God will tell you to let go of. You hold on to people that God will tell you to, to let go of, but, but you hold on to them. And you wonder why you're going through, you wonder why they're beating you, you wonder why they're talking about you, you wonder why they're betraying you. Because God said, come out of them. God said, separate yourself. That ungodly soul time, you know it's wrong, you know you're wrong. You know that situation is wrong. You got together, you got together because it made sense. You're shacking up, you got together because it made sense. But you know it ain't right. You know it ain't right. You got to separate yourself. You got with this person. You got with that situation. You knew it wasn't right, but you got with it anyway because it made you feel good. God said, change it. God said, repent. Come out of it. God is watching you. God is watching your actions. Your blessings will come when, when your obedience comes. Your breakthrough, your, breakthrough, your breakthrough is going to come. God is going to answer. God is going to bless. God is going to heal. You've been waiting for God to heal. You've been waiting for God for answer. You've been waiting for God to bless. But God is not going to bless until you do what he said the first time. And so you try, you, you think God has said, God damn needs you. God didn't forget. God did not forget. You want God to fix something. You got to fix something. You got to give it to him. You got to give it to him and, and you got to be kind. You got to change. You got to change your, your viewpoint. You got to change your mindset concerning something. God told you to let it go. Stop bucking. The scripture says rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. So when you bucking, when you disagree in God, disagree disagreeing against God's word. Now you're operating in the arena of witchcraft. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. When you don't disagree with God, then you become an enemy of God. The scriptures say the corner mind is an enmity against God. And so when you don't do it God's way, then you're, you're against God. You're being formed and you're against him. And so you say you love him, right? You say you love him, right? He said you love him, keep his commandments. And you love him, keep his commandments. And that is to love the Lord with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And when you love someone with your heart, mind, soul, and strength, you're going to do what they say. And then to love your neighbor as yourself. Those are my words. Those are my words. Those are my words. Those are my words. Those are my words that God has put in my heart to let you know that that's your trust in God. Trust in him. Put, put your hand in the hand of the man that can steal your waters. Your waters are hot. You're angry, frustrated, mad, ready to walk away. Ready to do something. Trust him. Put your confidence in him. And, and, and the anger. And the temperament. And what you're feeling. What's around you. The danger. The scripture said. When a man weighs, please God. 
He will make even his enemies at, at peace with him. You, you're trying too hard. Just trust God. Just trust God. Let go. Let go of the pain. Let go of the tension. See, the reason why you have an, an, an panic attacks and an anxiety attacks is because your mind is too active. Your mind, just like I said, rebellion is add the sin of witchcraft. It, it op opens up the door to all kinds of other stuff. And stubbornness is as idolatry, self-worship. You worship an idol yourself. Because you feel, you, you worship your feelings. You, you believe in your feelings more than you believe in God's word. You believe in your way more than you believe in God's word. And so there's a, there's a defining line. The scripture says in all your ways acknowledge him. And, and if you ain't acknowledge him, you acknowledge him something else. And that's becoming your God. And see what God, God is putting down the groves. Those idols. Those things that you put before him. Before, before he healed. Before he delivered. There are certain things that you must do. There are certain things. There are certain things. Jesus said, if you're a man come after me, he must first crucify his flesh. Take off his cross and follow me. It's going to take a sacrifice. It's going to take a sacrifice. And a sacrifice doesn't feel good. But that's where your growth, your growth is in your discomfort. That's where it's at. That's where it's at. And those are my words this morning. I'm going to pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you. God, I thank you for your word. God, open your eyes up to your people. God, let us see your way. God, move in our heart, God. God, move in our mind. God, help us this morning. God, help everyone that's listened to me this morning, God. God, help them name by name. God, help them in their condition, God. God, help them even in their weak condition, their weak mind, in their weak mindset, in that weak place, God, for those that listen to me right now. They're in a weak condition right now. They're in a weak place right now. God, they're being afflicted. God, they're being afflicted with pain. God, they're being afflicted with fear. God, they feel defeated. God, they feel hurt. God, it's like they're taking blows. They're taking all kinds of stuff, God. God, but speak to their heart and God, let them know, God. God, they're in their situation, God, where they feel like it's unbearable. God, they're in their situation where they feel like they can't take it no more, God. God, but speak to their heart, God, and let them know, God. God, that your grace is sufficient. God, that you put already in them. God, you impacted already in them enough, enough to make it. You put down in them, God. You put down in them the answer. God, you put down in them the blueprint. God, you put down them in the power that is able, that is able, that is able, that is able to come up, that is able to defeat the very thing that they're facing, God. God, let them know, God, let them know, God, that God, let them know that the power that they possess. God, let them know that, God, they have dominion. God, let them know that, that they're a ruler. God, let them know that, that they're a king and a priest, a, a peculiar people, a chosen generation that should show forth the praises of who that brought them out of darkness and into this marvelous light, God. God, let them know, God, let them know, God, awaken them. God, awaken them and know, and God, let them know the, the majesty. God, let them know the, the royalty that they walk in. God, let them know that who they're connected to, God. God, let them know that, they, let them know that there's a big God, even though they may, they're facing a big situation. But God, let them know that the God that they have inside of them that's bigger than their situation. And all they got to do is cry out. And all they got to do is call on your name. God, because you said in your word, whosoever should call on your name, God, they shall be saved. And God, God, the, God, those that listen to me right now that are calling God. God, the drunkard is calling God. God, the sick, God, the one that's lame and sick in their body, God, they're calling God. God, their mother, she's calling God. God, their father, they're calling God. God, the drunkard is calling. God, that family is calling. They're calling for change, God. God, they're calling for deliverance, God. God, they're calling for something different. They're tired of the same old situation. God, she's tired of the same old mindset. She's tired of the same old place. She won't change, God. God, she won't deliver us, God. God, answer her prayer right now, God. God, go into that situation right now, God. And God, bring flesh to it right now. God, bring life to it right now. God, walk, God walk, work a miracle right now, God. God, not tomorrow, right now, God. God, visit that situation right now. God, reveal your power right now, God. God, show yourself as a miracle right now, God. God, show yourself as the answer right now. God, become that man. God, become that what is this, God. God, come become whatever they need, God. God, they need joy, become that joy. God, they need peace, God, become that peace. God, they need understanding, become that understanding. God, they need wisdom, God, become that wisdom. They need life, become that life. God, whatever they need, God, become it right now, God. God, breathe into them right now, God. God, breathe, God, I breathe into every voice. 
God, I breathe into every mindset. God, I breathe into every mind. God, I breathe into every soul. God, I speak life. God, I speak life. God, I speak life to every life in the situation. God, I speak life to every situation that, that feel like it's died. God, I bring life to it right now. God, we speak to every scattered situation, every scattered situation, every scattered mindset, every broken heart, every broken situation, every broken mindset, every broken uh, episode. God, God, we speak to every broken place right now. God, God, systematically, God, we speak to every condition. God, we speak to every condition. We speak healing. God, we speak healing. We speak healing right now. We speak healing. We speak healing. We speak healing right now. God, go to the source of that situation right now that caused it to become sick and remove the seed of sickness. God, remove it right now. And as you remove the seed, God heal. God heal quicker. God heal the mind. God does a mind that's confused. God does a mind. God does a mind that's scattered. God, God bring. God bring peace into it right now. God bring. God bring understanding to it right now. God bring harmony to it right now. God, God to that heart that's been cut open, that heart that's been shattered, God, that heart has been severed, God, God, go into that heart right now, God, and stitch up, God, stitch up every wound, God, God, stitch up every, every broken door, God, God, stitch up every uh, uh, rejectful, rejected moment, God, God, speak to every uh, uh, lonely hour, God, God, speak to every dejected situation, God, God, speak to every hurtful situation, God, speak to every mindset that's been racking with pain every mind every brain that's been feeling but that's feeling like they feeling like it's going to explode god god speak to every condition god god speak to every void god speak to everything that's low god speak to everything that needs you god become that supply god because you said anyway that you'll supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory by christ jesus God, right now, supply, supply whatever kind of need it is they need. God, supply. God, supply from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. feet supply. God, supply. God, supply in their house. God, supply in their body. God, supply in their relationship. God, supply in their conversation. God, what they lack. God, give them the necessary wisdom. God, what they lack. God, give them the necessary information. God, God. That bring healing. God bring healing. God bring healing. God, I bring healing. God bring healing in Jesus' name. God heal. God heal the heart. God heal the family. God heal the mind. God heal the soul. God heal the pocketbooks. God heal their feet. God heal every back. God heal every soul in the mighty name of Jesus. God bring healing. Bring healing. Bring healing. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Amen. God bless you.